That's right, I'm down 50 pounds in the last year. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about improving your mental health and increasing awareness. And for any of my loyal subscribers out there, I'm taking a little break from diving deep into a specific mental health topic this week. I just got back from vacation. I'm still kind of all over the place. So that will continue next week. This week I'm just kind of putting up different videos and things that I've wanted to discuss on my channel. So anyways, uh, as most of you know, physical health and mental health, they kind of go together, all right? And for those have, who haven't seen my older videos, like I lost any motivation to lose weight in my active addiction, and I focused so much on my mental health, like for about four or five years that I, I just didn't even care about my physical health. And one of the reasons I've been on this weight loss journey is just because, Part of recovery for me, for the mind, is also my body as well. And I wanna be around for my son. I wanna, you know, grow old and be there and see his high school graduation, all that kind of stuff. So I am trying to lose some weight. So I do think that it's important to discuss that our mental health is as important, if not more important than our physical health, but physical health is huge, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna just talk about how I've lost 50 pounds over the last year. Basically, it started when I signed up for a gym membership, I finally just bit the bullet and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna sign up for the gym. And this was also actually almost two years ago, okay? Cause I, I, it has like a two year contract and that's up this year. But when I went in, I was at about 400 pounds and you know, I've had blood pressure issues and stuff like that. So like I had my ups and downs with the gym and most recently, like the last time I fell off from going to the gym really regularly was back in November. So I just started going back like a few months ago. And for me, the gym is something that I can do as much as I want because I have a flexible schedule, but it's something that I have to motivate myself to do because I have so much other stuff going on. And like sometimes it's just, I gotta kick myself in the butt and just say go. The best thing I could recommend to you is having accountability partners, okay? So like my girlfriend, she's been going to the gym lately and she's like, hey, are you going to the gym? I'm going to the gym. And I'm like, I gotta go, right? And also this thing right here, this fit that I got, and by the way, not sponsored, this is a great way to be accountable too. Like my friends are on Fitbit as well and we do like the weekly challenges and comp competitions and things like that. And like, it's important, like I need people to hold me accountable. Like I need to do more videos on how important accountability is. Like real quick, real quick. If you're a people pleaser, like accountability is a great thing to have. Like if you wanna improve your mental health, like I'm a firm believer that you could take your people pleasing mentality and shift it towards like holding up your commitments when you're accountable to other people. So like when I tell people I'm gonna do something because I don't want them to be mad at me, I do those things, you know what I mean? But there's more videos about setting healthy boundaries and stuff like that. But if you need to start going to the gym, like make sure you get an accountability buddy, all right? Now, as far as my diet and like what I've been eating, I became a vegetarian last September. September. Yeah, it was September. I went on a trial basis because my best friend's a vegetarian, my girlfriend's a vegetarian, and I was like, look, I'll try it for a month, right? And like, just so you all know, like basically what happened in that first month was I lost like 20 pounds, and I'm like, whoa. So even though there are some ethical reasons, like I'm not one of those like gung-ho, like never eat meat type people. Like there are some ethical reasons, but most of it was just health reasons. Like when I saw that I lost 20 pounds, like after cutting out meat, like I was like, sweet. But, and if any of you want me to recommend stuff, leave it in the comments, like, but like there are so many meat substitutes and nobody believes this. Like I talk to my girlfriend about this all the time. Cause I was like this too, like, there's so many meat substitutes that you can't even tell the difference. My son even loves them. Like right now, as I'm recording this video, I am cooking a chicken sandwich, a chicken sandwich, and it's delicious. It's amazing. It tastes just like chicken. So if any of you are interested, like let me know in the comments, I could recommend some stuff, but mwah, amazing. And especially restaurants that do it. So like, as far as that, like one thing that I had to be mindful of 
was when I became vegetarian, like my brain was immediately like, oh, well you can see, still eat all the pasta you want, all the potatoes and all these other things. Like my brain can get into a real unhealthy place. So I have to really be mindful of what I'm eating. The other good thing about this Fitbit is the uh, food tracker. I will admit I'm not the best at it, but I do try to track my calories on a day-to-day -day basis and see how much I'm taking in and stuff like that and try to eat less when I'm going to the gym. Now, like on vacation, I'll admit I screwed up, but now it's time to go back to the gym and like really get back in that mode. Um, when I took that break from the gym, I put on about 20 pounds, okay? Like 20 pounds. And like when I went back to the doctor and got on the scale because I'm the type of person who avoids the scale. Like, and I got on the scale of the doctors, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe how much weight I put back on. And like, here's the thing. Like one thing that I love about mindfulness is just, it's constantly beginning again, starting fresh, starting fresh because you're staying in the moment. And like, rather than beating myself up for how bad I fell off and put 20 pounds back on, like I just woke up, I'm like, today's a new day, today's a fresh start. And I started getting back into the habit of going back to the gym. So the last thing I kinda wanna talk about is like how much I go to the gym. Like when I develop a habit, I can stick to it very well. And I was going to the gym five or six days a week. And something I hate about weight loss and I just do not enjoy about the human body is that they're so different. They're so different. There's not like a formula. Like there are ideas out there and things like that and recommendations, but it's different for everybody. Like the same with our mental health. The reason why I give you so many tools is because different things help different people. And what happened was when I was going to the gym five to seven days a week, I wasn't losing weight. Like I plateaued, I just wasn't losing weight anymore. And so what I did was I just started experimenting and I started to cut down to like three days a week and my weight started to drop again. Like that's just how my body works. Like, I don't know, it's weird. And like the thing is too, like, and most of you who have tried to lose weight like know this, like you just get so many opinions from other people. You need to do this, you need to do that. And there's 50 billion opinions. And like what I've had to do is just keep track of my weight, keep track of what I eat and really see what my body wants, what my body needs and that is what helps me the most with losing weight. But I'm down 50 pounds, so I'm at 350 pounds now. And like this journey's still going. Like every time I look at myself, I'm like, God, Chris, you are huge, right? Even though 50 pounds is like a lot of weight. Um, like my journey's still going. Like I am hoping to lose at least, at least like another 125 pounds or so. So we'll see how that goes. But another reason I make these videos is so all of you can keep me accountable too. I am giving you all permission. I am giving you all permission right now. So like when I post a video in the future, if you're like, yo, Chris, looks like you're putting some pounds back on. Like if that's the case, good, because that keeps me accountable and I might be like, dude, I haven't been going to the gym and da 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 da, you know? But I hope you guys all follow me on Instagram because I try to post like, hey, I'm at the gym and stuff like that. And like, that's another way that I keep myself accountable. Um, but anyways, I hope you like this video and like leave comments down below. Let me know about what your experience is with weight loss and stuff. If you would like, throw some tips down below. I'm more than happy to try things. I hope I didn't make it seem like I won't try things. I'm more than happy to try things. It's just that I try things out, I see if it works and then I see what doesn't and then I kind of feel through the information so leave comments down below all right but anyways thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here i'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and physical health click that little round subscribe button and a big thank you to everybody supporting me over on patreon if you would like to support the channel and what i'm trying to do by helping people with mental their mental health make sure you click on the patreon link right there all right thank you so so much for watching take care of your mental and physical health and i'll see you next time